Hi everyone, Jason from Makera here with another Makera Cam tutorial. And in this one, we're talking about the laser vector toolpath operations in Makera Cam. Now, unlike the laser image toolpath operations, laser vector operations work with vector files rather than the raster photographs that you can engrave using the laser image operations. You can do this using the built-in laser engraving module on the Carvera or the optional laser engraving module on the Carvera Air. Whenever you choose to engrave or cut materials using the laser engraving modules, you must first ensure that the materials that you're working with are in fact compatible with laser cutting and engraving. Many materials like synthetic leather or PVC based plastics could actually release harmful toxic fumes which you do not want to be inhaling in your workspace. As such, always ensure that the materials you're choosing to use with laser engraving are compatible with laser engraving, and for those that aren't, you can take advantage of the spindle head instead. After importing a vector file into Makera Cam like this, we can select the parts of our file that we'd like to be working with. We can do two different types of operations with the laser vector path, the first being engraving and the second being cutting. After creating a laser vector toolpath, I can set the speed and power based on the material that I'm working with, and you can find recommended material settings on the speeds and feeds page of our wiki site. After adjusting these settings accordingly, I can choose the mode. Line would engrave the outline, which could be used for engraving or cutting depending on the speed and power settings that you create. Fill would actually engrave and fill this area, like burning it, almost like what you can do with the laser image path, but instead with the laser vector path. And then you could also do an offset fill if you'd like to create an offset between the lines of your design and the engraving. You can also adjust the resolution and the angle of the engraving. And after calculating, you should see both the engraving image and also the toolpath created for engraving your vector file. We can also cut materials using the laser vector path as well. So for this, I'm going to select this outline of my design and this hole. And now I'm going to adjust the speed and power to cut a material based on the speeds and feeds for the material that I'm working with. To cut, I would want to choose the line instead of fill. And again, you can choose to adjust offsets and indentations as well. Lastly, we could export these paths, and then this allows you to engrave and cut compatible materials using the laser vector path operation. You can of course take advantage of the spindle to do a combination project where perhaps you can cut using the spindle and you grave with the laser. And the order that you typically would do this is cutting your materials first, like for example, cutting this PCB and then engraving afterwards. The reason being you do not want dust to potentially impact the engraving surface and you also need to prepare the CNC differently, such as using the dust shoe and built-in vacuum for cutting operations and the air assist module for engraving operations. Always remember to engrave in a well-ventilated area using protective eyewear or a laser protective cover, and always ensure that you never leave the laser engraving module unattended when in use.